ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू प्लॉट एन एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन विद इन दी पाई चार्म सो हाउ वी कैन डू इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट टू ऑफ दी लाइब्रेरीज दी फर्स्ट वन इज दी नम पाई लाइब्रेरी सो वी नीड टू राइट इम्पोर्ट नम पाई एज एन पी ओके and the second library is import matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot okay is we can say pl uh, t okay plt is enough for us okay now why we have written this is npn is plt because in all around the program we cannot write this whole library name so instead of this uh, lengthy library name we are supposed to write np and plt and they will work for us after this we have defined a variable we have written a variable here that is the t so what it will do it will it will store some sort of vector or values in it okay and what about this np dot range function so this function that is function is a range it belongs to np that is numpy library so that is why we have written np dot range so what this function will do it will start from like uh, we can say that it will start from uh, like minus 3 and its uh, last value is 3 and if we want to have a difference of like this 0 0.001 in between this whole series then we can write point double zero one okay now simply we can say that we have written here minus three here plus three so a range function will make a series a series of value a vector a complete vector series of value that starts from minus three then ends at three and there are how, how much uh, like uh, uh, how much values are there in it obviously a lot of values around one thousand or like that and they are uh, having difference of point double zero one okay okay now now we need to do one more thing and that is we will go for our uh, amplitude of the exponential function so how we can take the exponential uh, function amplitude that must be on y-axis we can write here like uh, uh, we can multiply it with 4 okay 4 is just for to uh, like uh, we can say that uh, amplify amplifier values and nothing more okay you can write 5 here 3 here 2 here or any anything you like okay we will change it if you like we can change it as well after this thing we need to write np dot exp np dot exp of time now what this function will do now exp sorry this is just t because t is defined here okay t contains all the values all the values between minus 3 and 3 and that are spaced by 0 0.001 difference okay so 4 cross np dot exp of t simply first we will see this thing exp is our exponential function and it will take the exponential function of all the values from minus 3 to 3 with a difference of 0 0.001 after this all these values will be multiplied with 4 and then will be given to amply variable amply is just a variable you can change its name if you like now we need to uh, plot so for plot there is one what's called as the library matplotlib so plt dot plot plt dot plot plt dot plot t comma ampli because plot function is a specialized function of the matplotlib library it is just like the function that uh, used to be inside the MATLAB maybe you have heard about the MATLAB so this plot function will take uh, 
uh, two vectors one is t that is on x-axis time and amplitude is on y-axis so after it it used to plot both the uh, things okay so after it we also need some grid grid or the lines on so that we can see so plt dot grid and plt dot show will show us the graph okay so these are the grid and show or the functions belongs to matplotlib library uh, plt is an object of matplotlib so we have just written there if we use to write matplotlib dot pyplot dot plot still it is okay for us okay and like this so now we are supposed to run it okay wait they said uh, okay there is one problem has no attribute uh, line 3 np dot range minus 2 comma t is equal to np dot range numpy as okay and then we need to multiply np dot exp okay so so it it is right okay it, it seems to be right okay can, can we either we are supposed to change values but these values are nothing to do okay so i think that we have written the spelling of range function is wrong okay so now hopefully it will run now it is running okay okay now you can see the exponential graph within the python so if you find any sort of difficulty you can comment down and i will help you in no time so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe